Now we turn our attention to Ingersoll Machine Tools. Since its inception in 1891, Ingersoll Machine Tools has been an iconic name in the milling machine sector. Serving various industries, including defense, aerospace, and transportation, Ingersoll's machines are amongst the largest in the world. Expertise in composite manufacturing technologies has led to the development of both gantry and robotic automated fiber placement systems. In addition, breakthroughs in additive and subtractive manufacturing are being realized with Ingersoll's Masterprint 3D printers. Let's watch. Joining us now from Ingersoll Machine Tools are Jason Melcher and John Dreyer. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, thank you, uh, as well, Siemens, for inviting us uh, on behalf of myself and the Ingersoll team. Thank you. Jason, let's start with you. Ingersoll Machine is serious about digitalization. What steps are you taking to establish a digital foundation? Oh, it's a great question, Kathy, and actually one we appreciate being asked. Uh, we've been uh, taking steps, so it's what steps are we going to continue to take. Uh, we continue to try to find a way to lead in the digital space and all things that we do. Uh, our own division has a digital division, our own Komotsi family. And so as we apply those solutions to our machine tools, how can we actually complement what it is that we do? Uh, and what better way to do that than actually have a control now in Sunameric One, and it has in Siemens Sun Solution Line, um, but we take it to another level of being able to provide a true digital solution. Uh, so we're trying to put digital platforms uh, on every asset and entire product pipeline uh, that we offer to our customers. And what we are seeing is more and more customers are actually working those digital requests into the specifications. Um, and or our altering specifications after we're able to expose them to tangible and real digital solutions that are just not uh, conceptual anymore. They're real. How does Cinemeric One support your pioneering efforts in robotic fiber placement? So robotic fiber placement uh, is a complex operation. Cinemeric One allows us uh, the ability to, to uh, enhance that through uh, improved simulation uh, and design uh, prior to the machine uh, being assembled. Uh, and it's very important uh, for the production phase uh, where the robotic motions and, and configurations can get quite complex. Uh, so Cinemeric One really affords us the opportunity to, uh, to work through all of those complex details well in advance uh, of the machine assembly. In 3D printing as well as milling? Absolutely. Uh, Ingersoll has been a leader in large-scale 3D printing, uh, and over the past several years, we've, we've really seen a lot of advancements. Uh, we're continuing to innovate, uh, and, and Cinemeric One, again, really gives us the platform uh, to explore uh, new platforms as they emerge, uh, new technologies, uh, and, and really provide cutting-edge solutions for our customers. John, there seems to be an emphasis on the possibilities of the software. Is that because the hardware side has begun to show physical or mechanical limitations? I don't think that it's the hardware showing physical and mechanical limitations as much as the, the advancements in the software really just allow us to push the boundaries even more to explore uh, more of what the, the hardware is capable of. Uh, just gives us new avenues uh, new tools to work with 
uh, and maybe find uh, new limits that we didn't even know existed before. How does Cinemeric One support your advancements on the hardware side? So Cinemeric One really gives us an opportunity to, to thoroughly explore um, our designs uh, early in the process. So uh, in the initial designs, uh, in the initial programming, during commissioning, well before anything hits the assembly floor and starts to come together for debug. So it really gives us a jump start on our, on our process, uh, gives us that validation uh, very early on um, that, that we're providing the correct solution and ultimately will be successful uh, for our customers. So the digital twin environment brings together both the software and the hardware. It becomes a collaboration channel with your customers. Is that true? To actually take it and create a digital twin, to show it in the design uh, of the machine tool and, and, and the processing of the part and deliver that to the customer. Because a lot of times when they work with Ingersoll, they're buying something certainly we've made and proved before, but it could be a unique solution just to that particular customer. And to be able to give that reassurance, but then actually be able to hit and focus on not just the feasibility, but an actual tangible ROI that's in line with what they're planning and then go do, go do that, literally go do it. Take it from a concept to a visual reality to now months later as we delivered the solution, that's exactly what you promised. It took out risk for both us and the customer. Ingersoll has something big on the digital drawing board. Can you tell us anything about it? Yeah, how about two? So uh, Siemens is well aware of uh, the master print and uh, R&D center in our development uh, location in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, we are, uh, have broke ground and in early 2021, we will have the INSEE uh, Milano uh, European Technology Center and uh, this facility will have the largest master print. It has been slated, engineered from the onset, uh, upgraded uh, in, the, in the, all of the early engineering with Sunameric One. And so this solution will have uh, and be the largest 3D printer uh, in the world, uh, and it will have the Sunameric One on it. We also have what we call a DEM cell, which is a robotic DEM cell uh, for AFP technology. It's interchanging heads. We can actually go from AFP, we could go to printing, we could go to milling. Uh, so you're taking a lot of different technology there and this unit will be in our Rockford facility. It's robotic. So now the one in Italy, like the one that we have already in Rockford is a gantry style. So we're taking this platform, Soon America one on both and applying it to both new uh, R&D elements uh, in our company. So those are the, some of the more exciting, uh, I guess, things happening inside Ingersoll, uh, where Siemens is really uh, right there next to us in the car uh, as we put those solutions forward. Really exciting. Thank you so much. And thank you both for being here with us today. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, on behalf of uh, Komotsi uh, team, Ingersoll, Insei Berardi, um, and everyone here in Rockford, we sure appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, gentlemen, big things are happening at Ingersoll. What are your key takeaways? Well, Ingersoll has been a company that has been providing solutions for machining for decades. They have been a known name in that machining industry. What is exciting to see over there in that particular video and in that interview is really the comprehensive solution that they have put together to address the challenges of Industry 4.0 by leveraging digitalization together with robotics as well as 3D printing, both in additive and subtractive form. Quite amazing. Rogers, I agree. With generations of engineering, they're now challenged in a way they've never been challenged before. They see digitalization as a process. And this is both exciting and powering at the same time. Siemens has all the digitalization tools that they can put into their toolbox and really drive their strategy and their portfolio um, forward. I'm really excited to really see what an engineering powerhouse like Ingersoll could do with Cinemeric One. Very high hopes there. I agree, Cinemeric One just opens the door for, for them and I can't wait to see what they build next.